Hello, good morning, everybody. Can you understand me? Yeah, I'm Heiko Schwarzburger. I'm the publisher of Solar Age, which is a new database in the internet, especially for architects. This is Mr. Ulrich. He is the editor in chief. He's leading you in this guided tour. Yeah, and this is Mr. Lange, who is uh, the leader of the um, Alliance for BIPV, which is a special association concerned with solar architecture and building integrated solar technology. And I have the uh, nice opportunity to show you around in this uh, booth here. We have several new uh, innovations, several new products, very special OPV and an organic PV, for instance. And uh, I would like to introduce and to ask Mr. Lange yeah, to show us a little bit around to explain what is the alliance of BIPV, what is, what is the difference between BIPV and standard PV. Yeah, so please take the microphone. Well, thank you very much. Hello, nice to see you. Yes, my name is Sebastian Lange. I'm from the BIPV Alliance, and um, we would like to show you some products, BIPV products, some um, examples of a nice integrated photovoltaic. So, what's the difference between normal photovoltaic and integrated photovoltaic? Well, if you have a look over here, you see it's integrated in a curtain. That's one example. On the other side, you will see an example where it is integrated in a, in a front glass. And uh, you find a lot of nice examples over there. We have a little um, show here, which is um, Architecture Prize, which is um, all every second year. This is um, a project from the Solar Energy Förderverein Bayern for the architects. They can show their best examples of BIPV. And here you can see all different kinds of BIPV um, projects in practice. Projects which are really built. It's not only a concept. You find some real examples here. Well. Um, Enjoy our booth, have a look. Um, if you have any questions, we are here. You can talk to all, all the people who are here. We are all members of the BIPV Alliance. And please go ahead if you have any questions. Thank you very much. It was a little bit difficult to get all the houses here. That's why we have the posters. <laughs> so, so take uh, some minutes afterwards and uh, sh show around and look what's possible today because building with PV is not the same than building just PV. Yeah? And we integrate our solar panels into the skin of the building so sometimes you don't see them actually, the cells. You would never presume that these are solar technologies. Let's go around to an expert for organic PV who can explain more about uh, this curtain and more about uh, the special panels over there. Please follow me. <laughs> come. Yeah, come into the booth. Yeah, then we go over here, please. So this was not heavy, too heavy to bring it here. Yeah. Uh, this is OPV, organic PV. This is not silicon PV. And I have an expert here, Mr. Hermann Isser from the uh, enterprise company Obvious, who will explain a little bit about the technology, about application like this, yeah, and uh, about uh, what's going on. Yeah. So thank you and welcome on our booth in the booth. <laughs> and, um, I have to say, no, it's really heavy. Yeah? <laughs> so this glass pane is a balustrade for a building project in Stuttgart. We are produ producing of these um, glass balustrades something around 400 pieces. Um, the interesting thing is the technology inside. And I'm thinking um, this is the reason why I should um, show a bit more about um, the OPV technology. We are able to print in different forms, colors, shade, uh, uh, shapes our solar cells, yeah, you see it here on the palm. If you can do something like this as a leaf of a tree, 
um, you can print everything. So if you tell to us, um, I want to have, for example, a solar cell as a Mickey Mouse, we can produce it. Yeah? You only have to go to Disney, check the licensee, and we can print a solar cell in the shape of a Mickey Mouse. Um, the interesting part of the technology is that it is semi-transparent, so you can look through. Um, it is very easy to integrate in all different kind of technologies, like glass, like steel, on steel, all what is proposed to light. So I say light, not sun. In order to show you a bit more, it's this is possible only with OPV. Yeah? It's working indoor, with indoor light, it's working only with light, we don't need sunlight, um, and you can place it wherever you want. <laughs> so it's working with very, very low light, and the energy output from the OPV technology is in many conditions higher than with classical crystalline solar cells. Um, instead, the efficiency is much more lower. Yeah. And we are printing here in Germany in different systems. You have seen this glass balustrade, you have seen the palm tree, um, you see the, the, the sun curtain. Um, it's all possible with a new kind of technology. So, welcome. Questions? Have you any questions? Uh, yeah, what's about the efficiency of this model? Could you roughly... In the, um, for, the, for the question of efficiency in the glass pane, um, it's something around maybe 3.5%. In the panel by himself, it's something around 5%. So this depends on color, on shape, and on the wish of the architect. So what we are doing is to transform architectural design in um, functionalities. And there the, the question for the highest efficiency is mostly not given. It's more driven by the decision of a designer or an architect to integrate um, a design with a functionality. So what is it your main customer? It's a household or the... So our main customers are especially the building industry, so which, which has existing products last like glass facades, like steel products for facades. So we are selling to manufacturers of OEM products. So we are a classical semi-finished product. And um, all the industries, from building industry over automotive industry, consumer products are able to integrate our products um, for electrical functionalities. Any other questions? No, no more questions. It's all clear. Thank you very much, Mr. Isa. I uh, suggest we go to Mr. Flade, who is the head of this exhibition with the buildings. Yeah, please follow me. So, come somewhere to me. May I introduce Mr. Flade? Yeah, uh, to you. He is responsible for these uh, reference buildings. Yeah, and uh, he can answer uh, your questions if you have but you're free for five minutes to walk around and to look at it yeah and maybe we find it somewhere in the internet uh, something like this um, yes hello welcome to the Bavarian Association of Solar Energy yes you can find some of the projects in the internet um, what you can see here are the results of competitions we organize every three years we organize a competition worldwide um, concerning uh, the, co the um, connection between architecture and solar energy. And uh, with these competitions, we, um, we get a lot of entries. And what you can see here is um, some of the best entries of the last two competitions. And um, our aim is showing these reference um, objects, these uh, lighthouse um, projects, and inspiring people to think about realizing solutions on their own uh, to give uh, to to give uh, motivation. Think about solar energy and so on. That's that's what we're doing here. Um, we also try to um, 
to interest uh, to, uh, architects because architects have sometimes problems with solar energy and with these examples we try to show them that it's possible to make beautiful architecture and integrate solar energy and this is sometimes they don't even know about uh, what about possibilities and you can see a lot of projects from all over the world uh, showing different kind of integration of, of systems as this is a very nice example because it's very simple very reduced but it's perfect uh, projects here uh, with an integrated roof on a single family house in Switzerland. Um, you can see a lot of the projects um, we have here are in Switzerland. Switzerland is um, very innovative in this, in this part of, of uh, solar energy and integrating them to the buildings. But um, in the last times, maybe you can, you can follow me here, um, also in Scandinavia, in the north, it's, it's coming. This is an very interesting project we have here um, with colored PV. So in this case, you do not, do not even know that this is solar energy, that this modules here. Um, it's uh, just, in fact, it's just one color, and this shimmering effect is because of the different angle of the module here. You can hear. So this is a very interesting, very popular project here in in, in Scandinavia. And so when we go around here, we have a lot of interesting projects from all over the world. Um, so have a look and thank you very much for your interest. Yeah, so okay. it's me again. Uh, if you want to build buildings like this, you need some components. You need the right modules. You need power electronics for it, you know. And it's a huge opportunity for thin film PV, which is not a wafer based silicon PV, which is another technology. We have an expert here, Mr. Schmidt from Nice Solar. Let's go to your uh, presentation. Yeah, so I give it to you what is uh, possible to do with a thin film solar, yeah, and what is the advantage uh, compared to silicon wafer uh, photovoltaics, please. Okay. Thank you very much for the for in nice introduction. Um, the last project my colleague showed to you, uh, this one, gives me a good link to our product. Look at this, this piece of glass. This is a module. It doesn't look like, but it is one. I think this is part of the future in solar, or in, in building integrated PV, uh, because the architect only wants to, to have the maximum of freedom. Uh, so he, he wants um, individual dimensions of modules. He wants to, to have the choice in, in between colors. Uh, so that's what, what we are working on. Um, I would like to, as, my, as Mr. Elsesser already told you, we are working with thin film, with copper, indium, gallium, selenide. You don't have to remember this, this abbreviation. Uh, it's a special technology which is uh, especially suited for building integrated because we are very flexible in size. We are very flexible in module um, design. Um, and I would like to show you some of the examples in building integration we, we realized so far. So if you look back to these um, um, examples, at the left, right hand side you can see some examples how color, colored modules uh, can look like. Um, in the middle you can see how framed mo modules can look like. Um, on the left hand side you see some examples one example of a roof integrated system so our our um, our aim is to not not only to sell modules but also systems building elements which can easily be integrated into a facade and last but not least i would like to show you our last example which is a Großpeter tower in basel uh, one of the one of the biggest uh, roof uh, building integrated um, buildings worldwide I think. So this building has been finished, finalized um, more or less two years ago. Um, it's a building complex in Basel completely newly constructed and <clears throat> if you look at the surface of the building uh, the windows are just standard windows but everything else you see here all these black surfaces on the southern eastern western north side of the building this is all PV nothing than PV it's 5,000 square meter of active PV modules um, on the roof there's also some some PV installed and 
this building shows the potential of building integrated PV. I'm not saying that every building will look like that in future, but it shows how flexible PV can be, how um, um, we have 450 different module sizes in that building, um, different uh, module designs, so this is some, something of a like a like a lighthouse project to show um, how the future of building integrated PV could look like. So, th thank you for your attention. I have a question: How many colors can you not make in the panels? Is there any limitation in color? Um, well, for the time being, there is a limitation because. What I explained to you, this, this sieve printing technology, this is only, um, we are only using part of the module surface to print on. So the rest is always black. So you will always get a mixture of this printed color, let's take white, and black. So you will never get a 100% white module. You might get it, but then you will only have 20% of the power output. Um, in future, I cannot show you something here. In future, that might be different. In future, I, I'm pretty sure there is some some technologies which allow to to only use uh, lose about 10 percent of the original power output, and that gives you, however, it gives you a bright color: green, blue, red. You will never think that that the thing behind is a module, but this is still uh, in future. But that will happen, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. The, the great advantage is the freedom in design for the architects, I think. And uh, I don't think that efficiency is so important because we have these huge areas, huge facades, millions of square meters to fill with PV, and you will never see it and recognize it. So this is a real step uh, ahead, I think so. Yeah. And a good future for thin film PV. Yeah. If you want to have uh, an overview uh, over all the technologies and all the references you see here, um, I give you this. There's a database in the internet, which is Solar Age, which I'm standing here for, yeah, because we are journalists. We are not building uh, or making PV, but we are talking about it. Yeah. And if you're interested in so you can use the database, you find all the reference uh, buildings all over the world, and you find the technologies, especially for architects, yeah, because they have to learn very much about PV in, uh, in design of buildings. Thank you very much. I give it back to Sven. Okay, it's a very interesting uh, booth here. You can see a lot of uh, products, a lot of projects. Uh, you can imagine what is possible with the BIPV.